Yo, what's good, YouTube? Um, my name is Jediah, and I've had a lot of people ask me to make videos, um, to have a YouTube channel, you know, like talking about various things. Um, I've been into fitness a lot, so mainly I was supposed to make a video about fitness or make videos about fitness training. I'm a personal trainer, but I don't want to do that, I'm not interested in that found an excuse to make a video because basically I'm going to start a three day fast today, a water fast, um, so I thought you know what, let me just give it a shot and see how it works out, so I might come across a little bit awkward or whatever, I'm well versed at being in front of a camera but it's different from just speaking to your computer in the kitchen, so bear with me as I find my feet. Um, what do I want to say? Basically, the reason why I want to do this three day water fast, which is basically abstaining from food for 72 hours, just consuming water, nothing else. And the reason I want to do that is because um, I've suffered from IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, for a few years. I think mainly stress related. But I found that my tolerance to certain foods is not how it used to be. So, for instance, dairy is basically no no for me except for cheese um bread and just certain things and I'm, I'm not really happy with the way that uh my stomach is so i'm thinking maybe if i try this cleanse and then slowly reintroduce foods i may be able to highlight exactly what is causing the issues and you know take it from then or take it from there like i said it's just my first video just trying to thing. bear with me I'm not usually as stiff, but I'm sure that I'll, 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 you'll see a difference if I continue making these videos, if it's worthwhile. Um, I'm not even sure what channel I'm uploading it to, but I'll work all of that. I just thought, you know what, let me just record. So this morning I started by drinking some water. I made myself some spirulina powder um, with water. And um, this is all I'm gonna really consume. After this, it'll just be pure water, nothing else. And um, I'll try and vlog, I'll try and record my day as much as I can. I'm, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do that. But I'll try and record my day as much as I can and I'll try and piece it together. I'm gonna upload it on YouTube and let people know that, yo, I've got something up. Um, yeah, rather than waffle, I think I'm going to cut it here. Like I said, my name is Jediah, J-E-D-I-A-H. And, um, yeah. Let's see how this goes. Peace. Shit, I forgot to say a couple things. Um, one, for those that didn't know what spirulina was, um, which is, I need to finish. Spirulina is a dark green algae. Yeah, it's a dark green algae that comes in powder form. Yeah. Comes in powder form. Alright, it's saying it backwards. But yeah. And um just the powder. Um I find that it's really good for trying to balance my digestive system. Got a lot of iron, a lot of nutrients in them, certain minerals. It's good coupled with Corella, which is another green, dark green powder based on algae. Um, what else was I gonna say? <coughs> Some stuff about my diet, basically. Like I'm getting to the point where, obviously, as you know, a lot of people are a lot of people are, are into the veganism. Veganism is rising in popularity and also information about food is, um, information full stop is, is or awareness is increasing. So with that being said, I'm kind of having a bit of a conflict in terms of eating meat, which I do eat meat, um, fish. I'm on the verge of changing my diet and changing the way I eat. Definitely my approach and my look to food has changed from years back. But I am still considering whether to go meat free or what. I don't really like to jump on fads 
So I'm trying to investigate and try to test with my body and see what's good for me. I don't care what works for other people. This is all about me. How I feel, I feel like that is a natural way to approach. Something as serious as your diet or what you're taking into your body. You need to do your own research. So obviously with eating just vegetables and stuff like that, it sounds good in principle, but I also know about pesticides. I also know that not everything organic is necessarily good for you. Um, I've been doing a lot of research into hybrid foods, you know, stuff like Dr. Sebi and, you know, the whole alkaline diet. Um, there's fruitarians out there. There's so many different options and so much more information than just, oh, I'm not eating meat no more. So I guess I'm just taking my time a bit and I'm trying to investigate and test my body and see what my body responds to the best. Um, secondly, there's a spiritual aspect to it. But not to be cliche, I'm a spiritual person or I'm spiritually inclined. I have a level of awareness and um, have a level of uh, a desire to to increase my spiritual potential. So therefore, I feel like fasting is it's been used across many cultures to kind of to clear the mind and to detox the body and to become more spiritually in tune I suppose fasting is used in a lot of religious in a lot of religions worldwide and um, a lot of spiritual practices so I feel like I want to explore the avenue of what that could do for me you know even in the bible they talk about Jesus uh, uh, what did he fast I think he fasted for 40 days but 40 nights something like that you got Ramadan you got loads of other um, other examples of fasting and um so I'm just trying to test it out and see, well, one, this is what I do. I like to challenge myself and I like to explore new shit. If there's anything you want me to cover, if there's anything that you want me to discuss, if there's any questions you want to ask me, um, write it in the comments and I will definitely reply to them because I'm appreciating anybody that's going to watch my dead ass video. Because right now, I just feel like oh, I'm talking to a... I'm talking to a the screen in my kitchen so definitely with comments and that there'll be a lot more interaction and I'll feel more comfortable even recording anything um, yeah that's all I'm really gonna say for now I think I'm gonna try and document my day but basically it's just gonna consist of drinking water to be fair so it's not gonna be the most exciting but like I said if there's anything else you want to see or any questions you want to ask put it down in the comments below I won't be waffling once I'm relaxed. That's me man, um, Jedi aka Jedi, and I'm out man, Peace. Right, so it's 25 minutes to 3, still not eating anything, not had anything to eat since 8 o'clock last night. It's Monday, yeah, I'm sure it's Monday. Yeah, shit. It's Monday. Um, not had anything to eat since 8 o'clock Sunday I don't really feel hungry there's been food that's been cooked in the house um, it made me crave to eat but that was about it I'm not hungry I don't have any symptoms of actual hunger which is another reason why I'm doing this fast because I don't really experience that genuine feeling of Rah, I'm starving so I'm just trying to reset the clock. I'm drinking loads of water as usual. That's normal for me. And to be fair, before before I did this, I normally had um, started the day with a smoothie, spirulina, ginger, spinach, kale, yada yada yada. All my seeds, you know, trying to get that omega three oil in. Sunflower seeds and chia seeds and hemp seeds and. So I'd have a, a decent shake, a nice thick shake, take that and then I'd usually go gym either in the morning or in the afternoon. So I'm used to a certain level of fasting, you know, I've done intermittent fasting before. But this is, obviously it's different. But yeah, so far I feel normal. I think I'm a little bit, a little bit grouchy. <laughs> but yeah, I don't feel hungry. That's it really. This chair squeaking is annoying me. Yeah, what's good, YouTube? Um, I'm back again. It's, uh, what's the time now? It's quarter to five. 
Um, I've got my bridge in my bridge in um, Southside. It's in the building. Say what I've got Southside. Well, I want people. Get yeah, me long time bridging. Um, he's he's come over from his job interview and um. Have you got any words of support for me? Cause I told you what I'm doing with the that no eating for three days and that. Yeah, all right. So check it. First of all, you've made a choice. Stick to it. Be dedicated to it. Otherwise, there's no point in making a choice. Um, knowing who you are and knowing you've got your mind set on something, you're good to go. Um, don't listen to your don't listen to your belly. <laughs> don't listen to your belly. Listen to your mind. But the good part of your mind, not the part of your mind that's telling you go eat and spoil the whole fasting thing and um yeah if you find it hard you want to shout and scream at someone you got my number what, 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 like knowing me what do you think like how do you think i'm gonna do at it like for um, three like three days 72 hours day one day one you're gonna have it cool because it's the beginning um day two yeah day two <laughs> <laughs> Day two, I'm not gonna phone you. I'm gonna leave you to your own devices. I've been mad. I've been a bit grumpy today. I'm not gonna yeah. lie to you. Would you say that you think that I'm? You, I don't know. I can't have grumpy. Uh, what do you think? Do you think? Be real, man. What do you think? What do you think? Um, yeah, a little bit more grumpy than usual. I feel like I'm sure of. I've got, I've got like less short patience. temper, but then at the same time, I think all of these things are. Are part and parcel, but you need to clock them and you need to address them as they happen. Otherwise, they become a weakness in what you're actually doing. So, if you do cuss or snap, be sure to not say sorry, but explain why you might have. I don't like saying sorry no more. I don't like the word sorry, but I'm not a sorry person. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, explain, but I, well, I apologize or no, explain. Not even it, explain why it might have come out wrong or why okay, it came out in that tone. Cool, cool, you get me? I'm going through this. I'm fasting. It's not normal for me. That's I'm going through some with. things, man. <laughs> But um yeah, apart from that, I think you got it, man. So yeah, what? Yeah, if if I do it for three days, yeah, and I tell you it's banging, mm. and I really enjoyed it, and I tell you list off all the benefits here. Yeah. Yeah. It's not something. It's my fucking hair. Man. Yeah, and I list off all the all the um, benefits. Would you be willing to try it? You know what I'm like for food, bro. I've actually heard you say to people, yeah, South Hungry is right. not waiting. Right. It's a recovering fact, boy. There's uh, no way. That... <laughs> <laughs> no, hey. hey. um, um, I would try it, but you know what? I wouldn't say to you straight away. I wouldn't say to you, what, Jed, yeah, three days, but I would definitely do the first day. And 24 hours. I, you yeah, could do 24 hours. Yeah, definitely. yeah, definitely. And if I felt a progressive beneficial outcome to the first 24 hours, then I would definitely delve into 48 and look to complete the 72. Definitely. Cool. And, um, Carl, is there anything that, is any, have you got any questions for me that I might, I may be able to answer in regards, because I already said to these lot, um, if they've got any questions to put it in the comments and that. Yeah. So um, you can kick start. Maybe is there anything you want to ask me? I stopped um, turning on and off my mask. Yeah, I know. Question machine. Yeah. My decision. Um, Yo, now for being positioned when you're next to man, then. Cool, just edit that one out. You're a man and position, then. Oh, in that kitchen as well. <laughs> cool, yeah. Cool. Right, question. No, no. Um, have I got a question for you? Have I got a question for you? Where do you or what do you what do you think what do you think you'll gain out of it on the third day by the third day? You get me? Or or do you know what you can do if you do find gains day by day? Like, if you do find, like, beneficial, spiritual, or knowledgeable gains throughout the day, vlog it. You hear me? So, we know. Well, go on. You know what I'm saying? Explain. Yeah. I've got expectations, yeah, but that's probably due to, like, the read, innit? I know I expect to feel hungry, mm. yeah? I expect maybe some moments of, like, maybe feeling a little bit sick, yeah? Um, I expect to feel light. Mm. Lighter. Yeah? Um... Apart from that, I mean, I've read a few things, like, I've read a few things in terms of, like, you know, mentally, people seem like they they, they gain more mental clarity, like, so they're, there's less brain fog, what they call it, you know what I mean? Like, you know, the cloudiness of thought, and, and I yes. think, I get that sometimes. I smoke weed, so... Yeah, but then at the same time, do you see, like, clarity of mind, you're quite a clarified person in your own right. Clarity of helping your insides 
I think would be maybe more of the angle you would approach it on. What do you mean? So like to actually take it as a detox of mind, body and spirit, but maybe I don't know, when you say clarity you seem like a very clear clear minded person. Yeah. yeah, but you can always be cl- clearer, like like I've had periods like you know like you know your mind, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So I know I've had periods where my thoughts and everything are so on point and so clear and so I'm so focused yeah. and then Maybe smoking, drinking, mm. living, going to bed late, blah, 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 other things, blah, 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 life stresses. Other things seem to mean that your brain don't move as, it, it doesn't move as uh, efficiently as it could yeah, do. And you know what, it will be interesting to know if it can move efficiently as, right, put it this way, yeah, your mind shop on food, mm. yeah, let's see if your mind shop, shop off food. Yeah, yeah let's especially if, if shop off food. because what I think is a lot of the foods that we eat, even though I try to eat healthy, I try to eat cleanly. Like I said, I'm not a vegetarian or vegan by any stretch of the imagination. I do try to implement some vegetarian days or days where I'm just eating fish or where it's just veg or blah, blah, blah. I've cut out most of the red meat intake that I have. But um, I do think, with certain, with a lot of the foods we eat, and even the vegetables, with the pesticides and the GMO factors and all these kind of things that are involved in our food, mm-hmm. most of our food is hybrid anyway. I do think that that probably takes us away. Like we're not eating what we would have been eating in the Garden in of the Eden. Garden, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Like the Garden of Eden. Yeah, so I reckon that prob like yeah, that has a big effect on the way that we do view shit and the way we do see things. So it'd yeah, be but interesting then at the same see. time the cause and effect of not having what they call the right nourishment, if I, if I, if it's even nourishment, what they call the right nourishment without that, kind of looking at you in the foot and I was sick in my <laughs> See? <laughs> you need some mental clarity. Some mental clarity, you know? So, but yeah, um, big up Southside, um, the newest personal trainer on the block. If you lot need some, um, some, some of that personal training, um, expertise in that. Oh, here we go now. Mm. Yeah, don't forget, hit me up, South London, East London, North London, West London, hit me up and um, I'll pass on a message for Southside. You probably see him a lot more anyway, man. Me and him were supposed to be doing some some vlogging, some funny, jokey kind of videos, but... Kind of like the Hodge Twins. <laughs> get the fuck out of my... <laughs> get out of my way, man. But we never got that. We never got the opportunity to really start it, but this could be the gateway for it because, you know, as you can see, he's a well-spoken brother. And whatnot, and yeah, it's the homeboy. So yeah, big up Southside. Keep turning mm. on and off my washing machine. Um, yeah, so like I said, it's it's basically quarter to five or ten to five. I still don't feel hungry, but I'm craving food. I'm thinking about food, and the conversations seem to all be around food. Everything I'm watching, food seems to be jumping out at me. <laughs> Teaspoon, dessert spoon, tablespoon. Fuck's sake, see what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so, but yeah, right. So. Nearly the end of day one. Um, ten past nine. And, um, yeah, I'm cool. Still don't feel hungry. Mouth's a bit dry. And, um, I don't know, man. I'm alright. I'm just in the mellow kind of, mellow kind of zone. I'm just gonna kick back. Got my water on deck. It's been 24 hours, no food. We'll see what tomorrow brings. So, yeah, that's it, man. So, I'll, I'll let you know how day two goes tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>